Good afternoon. My name is Igor Nikomarov, and I'm the broker and property manager at Matak Realty and Management. Today, I'd like to talk to you about six common mistakes first-time home buyers make. Let's start with one, believing that the showing agent is your best friend. Sure, real estate sales professionals are friendly. They all share conferences over coffee, tell you stories about their kids, and commiserate about their work. But unless you find your own buyer's sales associate, the sales associate prepping the house usually represents the seller, depending on their agency relationship. Another one to consider, setting an unrealistic timetable. When it comes to the calendar, most buyers are very optimistic. An unrealistic timeline is one of the most frequently seen home buyer mistakes and is often the cause of deals falling through. A competent real estate agent will often advise buyers of some common timetables for a sale involving financing. Regular sales, assuming you are pre-approved and everything is straightforward, can usually be done in 30 days. But 45 days is more common. To be on the safe side, allow for 45 to 60 days unless you have absolute certainty on paper from your lender. For the foreclosure, some lenders will aim for 35 to 45 days. However, liens and title issues often mean delays. The norm is 60 to 75 days. And 90 days? Is certainly not uncommon. Another mistake, financing. A lot of home buyers think it's a one and done type of deal. But you don't just want to shop around, you want to shop smart. That means serving several kinds of lenders. A decent real estate professional would recommend shopping a couple of local banks, some national banks, one or two mortgage brokers, and especially a mortgage banker. A real estate professional worth their penny will also advise you on the key differences between these. Also, never tell a lender that this is your first time or that you don't know how it all works and all you need them to do is to guide them through the process. That's like putting a sign on yourself and saying, charge me more. Instead, it's up to you to educate yourself on home buying and mortgages. You'll know what terminology to use, what questions to ask, and you'll have a sense of empowerment. Another one, trash talking is a bargaining technique. Don't forget, you're a guest in someone's home. Forgetting to be polite is one of the most commonplace mistakes. Sellers get emotional too. It is their home after all. A lot of them, this was the house they grew up in or spent a bulk of their life in. What you say can often impact the seller's attitude and their negotiating flexibility. Sometimes it can even nix the sale. If you're making an offer, you want to stress what you like about the place. To cut the price, emphasize what the home is worth to you. Believing you can't afford professional advice is another common mistake. Avoiding experts is one of the most often seen mistakes. Sometimes the right professional that can advise you will save you far more than what it will cost. With that said, you don't always have to pay, you don't always have to pay a full fee. If you just need a little advice here and there, there are arrangements. If you believe you have most of the bases covered on your purchase and you just need some professional advice in one aspect, look for it. There are absolutely are realtors out there who will engage in a fee for service basis for tasks such as handling closing details or negotiating. Finally, let's talk about reserve funds. After finally finding that dream home, what buyer isn't tempted to stretch as far as possible and drain all available savings just to make the numbers work? It's one of the biggest home buyer mistakes and the one that could hurt you the most. Often buyers fall in love with the property and they try to rationalize the decision. So don't be an impulsive buyer. Too often buyers set a price range and then fall in love with something that costs so much more than they can afford. They figure they'll borrow the difference Another big mistake. Buyers should expect the unexpected. In most home ownership situations, there are going to be some unforeseen circumstances. So be prepared. Thank you for your time. I'm Igor with Matak Realty and Management. And have a great day.